autonomous. We're gonna need autonomous points this time. Field debris has just been deployed for match number 40 in the Ochoa Division. That means the autonomous round is about to be underway. Here we go, and the autonomous portion starts. Aperture Science flooring it down to the blue beacon. Looks like they might be trying to go for the... There they go, they're going for the shelter. And back... Woo! One, that's two and two right there. Two climbers, blue shelter for Aperture Science and Blue Alliance. Top manifesto, 56-27. Looks like they're in the red uh, beacon repair zone. They're going for the light, but unfortunately they, they just barely missed it. Their apparatus came out, but they didn't make it in there. They did get the climber inside the safety shelter. That's going to be 10 points for each one they get in there. It looks like both robots making climbers in the shelter. It's going to be 10 points apiece. Both robots in the beacon repair zone at the end of that match. Again, another very evenly matched, evenly matched event as we get on to the tele portion of that round. And while they're getting ready, I've got some scores for Ochoa Match 37. Let's take a look real quick for your winner. Your winner by just about 20 points, your Red Alliance, Elmer and Elsie Robotics, and Panthers Ray. In the Greenford Division, the participants of Match 43, those are still under safety check by our officials, but it looks like the teleop portion of match number 40 is underway in the Ochoa division. Aperture Science climbing up, dropping off four or five pieces of debris inside the middle repository, again 10 points apiece. Afterburner, very quick, very nimble, dropping off their climbers inside the safety shelter. Time manifest 13, 56, 28. They are working for the Red Alliance this match. They are in the center of the arena, in the center of the field with their teammate, Carpenter Robotics, 64 51. After Science, again, four more blocks inside the. Uh, they got three out of four, not bad. Gonna be 30 points scored for After Science. There are maybe three robots. Everyone's in the center right now. And it looks like Carpenter Robotics is trying to get up on top of the Red Alliance platform. Looks like they might be going for... Nope, they're extending their grappling arm. They've got to wait until the final 30 seconds before they can do that, though. Before they can climb to the very top. Tom Manifesto has their reverse coat hanger deployed. They're going to try to grab onto the top in the last few seconds here. We've got about 11 seconds until the end game. Aperture Science, tape measure, is deployed. They're making their way up there. They've had some problems uh, taking that out. The previous matches, they've got some blocks. We got about four out of five blocks in the top. The top of compartment for Aperture Science, 15 points apiece, that's 60 points scored. They're assuming the tape measures all the way up. Aperture Science trying to climb. Tom Manifesto, they're climbing up right now. Looks like Tom Manifesto is going to get the full 80 points. They're doing it. And they got the Aperture Science, 10 and 10. Carpenter Robotics dropping off some last minute debris as we wind down. Five more seconds in this match. It looks like they're still trying to get completely up off the ground. Scoring a few more points as this match winds down to a blow. And we've got some more scores to display in Bluford. Let's take a look at Bluford match number 41. Some scores. Your winner by 50 points. The Red Alliance.